Welcome back on today's video guys and this is I think uh, part 10 video about my mini and uh, yes that's right mini is finally running she have a original engine it's put back together and it's finally after that many years she's alive um, many years she was abandoned many years she was stripped and parked in the back of the yard and started rotten Rusty and right now I saved this car is tiny and pretty little mini and it's running So that's very exciting, but before I show you how she looks like and how she's running Let's be back to the beginning and I show you how I built <laughs>
have a new year 2023 so um, my plan to start the mini in 2022 didn't go according to plan but I'm not rush I won't get everything sorted I will get to be everything right and good except obviously my uh, roof cloth which is still sticking down but I will sort of this later so far that's how it looks like the engine right now the mini I know it's a big mess in the shade but in the moment when this engine will get in into the car and we're running everything here will go into the bin all the wires spare parts and absolutely everything will clean shit leaving the door carpets and all that so hopefully we'll get nice and tidy shit so far nearly everything is done um, a couple of parts are painted right and uh, this site is not put back together what is the reason why I have a lot of new parts a lot of new parts is order a couple of parts I get ready so as you can see today what I have what I can put back into this engine but first me have a damn dirty allies right here and is the reason why them allies are there because in my van are allies fully painted so let's go to the van and we bring them to the garage and we try to put on into the van so you can see how we looks like them allies are very dirty and uh, new allies are painted in the same color as is the roof now it's January and it's very cold outside as we go to the van Ooh, oh, it's very cold outside. Ooh, uh, I don't know how long I'll be staying today in the shade. This is very, very cold. But anyway, now we see perfect how them allies are looks like. Check this out, guys. And thanks to me for my friend Luke who painted them for me. That saved my time. And I have to say, they look very well, very pretty. And should looks very well on the car. It's the same color as the roof, like I say. So hopefully it will look nice. I don't know if I will put them on right now. Or I will just maybe spend time on the engine. But first, I think you should check see why having them boxes is the full parts. So let me see what I have. Now number one. I think Brand new clutch. <laughs> Look at the tiny clutch this. <laughs> oh my god. It's like a go kart. Anyway, that's a brand new clutch into. And obviously old one will go into the bin. It's good for nothing. We can even look on them rivets. Them rivets are nearly level with the disc. And the new one are nice and new so that's what we will change we have more we'll get there in the white box Let's see oh they are gauges obviously them gauges are in the housing what I will obviously them housing will throw to the bin and them gauges will put them on into the new dashboard which I will made myself as well so you can see how this will go in now I have oil temperature, coolant temperature and oil pressure that's three gauges are very important for the car original mini doesn't have them but my one will have what else we have? Oh, obviously sensors yep that's fine okay that's nice and what we got? What we got more? Lucas parts and this full coil pack, spark plugs, strobe, and spark plug leads. 
lovely red will match with the color of the engine nice all the parts are actually cheap as chips but if we'll add them two together <laughs> then start build the price now what is here and here we have brand new engine mounts and this is I think a radiator mount which my one is missing so that's why I order and included with all that stuff was um, super mounts oh, that would be nice I will put them on in brand new ones oh, sorry that actually is engine mount and this is Sumprim mount, <laughs> really mixed up, and that's front of the Sumprim mount as well. So I will definitely put them on into the mini because I have a new. So why do we not use it? Now today I will try fix the problem with the engine. Like you see, is no water pump, and water pump is here, and is the reason why is not on yet because in this place here it's supposed to be a little pipe which is connecting into the water pump by the rubber holes obviously this one gets corroded and fall out and I didn't pick this up when I was cleaning the head because this still was there but uh, get very badly rusty and in the moment when I try to put on the rubber holes on it to get crushed and fall off on fire but anyway that's not a problem Everything getting fixed. We have something like that. It's a thread bar. Whoops. It's got thread bar. Same diameter as is the pipe. So now what I have to do it is I have to use the thread tap and retread it this place there. And screen that lovely thread bar. Let's see how they will go in. Oh, that looks much more better. Huh. Time to put on the water. Like I say, I didn't strip this engine and I never work on the engine of the Mini. And so, just put back this uh, roughly like I was thinking about. And I had a all clutch side fully put back together plate was on clutch was on brand new one everything put back together and just look at the box and i found kind of plastic i said ah that's probably for nothing but then i look closer and i see it's a flywheel side i said oh stop <laughs> so just go home look at the engine diagram of the clutch and this is actually a kind of dust protect which is going here so you protect the seal to don't damage of the dust so I have to strip this again and there you go now she's sitting in properly placed I can put back this again now this is very special day because right now engine will get in into the car finally after that many years. Um, two years building her and just right now the engine will go in. I don't know how long this car was out the road before, but definitely around 10 years. So that's a big moment for a big chance for this little mini. Um, I can't wait. Let's go. And me officially have a engine in. It wasn't going everything got the plan because the engine bay is actually small in this car so of course I make up a scratches that's my own fault I should take it out of the alternator straight away and I left the alternator on when I try to put on engine into but anyway so far check this out that's how she looks like beautiful she's sitting there and like I said she's making little few scratches right here but I will touch up this to be looks good. Plus also chain scratch for me a little bit of my rocker cover and bullet with that. But I have a plan for that rocker cover. In the future, probably I will put on the home one 
into so I'm not really fussy with that so far engine is in and its engine mount is tightened I have a brand new engine mounts in it so now what is left just tidy up these wires and bring in the fuel lines put on the fuel tank fuel tank is still not in the car and and what well then a couple of wires for the strober I have a brand new um strober cap and leads so just everything put them on I'm very happy very big progress for today so good so let's go forward hope this engine will start very soon Right, now's the time to get into my tiny little pit and try and install the fuel lines, put on the exhaust and put on the gear stick. Now I start work with the fuel lines already. So that's the original spot where it's going. And now I start mounting the mounts. Sorry, I start put them on the mounts already like you know my floor is not original floor I made myself and I weld kind of like a straps of steel to be give an extra protect and be a little bit more support and this is the excellent idea to just drill the hole in them and mount it to them original brackets for the fuel line so far so good nearly there it's still a little bit too short but from there we'll start a uh, metal fuel line and we'll go in directly up so should work fine so yeah I can't wait when should we start let's go gonna have a fuel line in from front from back to the front Nice, very nice. Everything is in the proper place and it's tight and secure. So we'll not rub anything. Here I have to put on a cable tie with a little bit of rubber protection, but I'm pretty sure that will work. And that's it, fuel liners in. Plus also I have a room for my brake line, so that will be good as well. I'm very happy with that. That's it. Right. Time to do more. Right, now is the time for gear lever over here. It's a bit dirty. That's doesn't matter. Time to put it on. Right, so you can see there's any gears. One, two, three, four. I should lift this up and reverse. Beautiful. Now, oh, four gears and reverse. A little bit off, but anyway, now it's time for exhaust. And I'm having nearly everything done underneath except CV joints. CV joints are still not in, and is the reason why because number one, the engine will be very hard to put on with CV joints into. Number two, I have only one CV joint, another one is on post after waiting for delivery to the end of the week. After that, I will put them on and fill up this engine with oil, put on the coolant into, and finally start. After fight, exhaust is in as well. Nice, very nice. And I think that's it for today. I spent half day and I have a fuel lines done, gears, and exhaust. I think that's a very good result. Right now, I'm in the recovery truck. Uh, first thing in the morning, and behind me it's Mini, right there, and I'm going to the garage 
on the mini and the lift and work with suspension, brakes and everything what I have to do underneath to be finished. It's nearly finished underneath. It's actually everything done except this inner TV joint, which is on the post still and I'm waiting for it. So I'm that close to start this car and hopefully it should be running. Right now, Mini, it's absolutely done underneath about brakes, suspension, and wrist protect and everything what I want to be done. Um, even put on brand new aerial. Even car doesn't have a radio yet, I have a new aerial. I think in her new life, like right now, this car deserves it to get a first wash. Mini, it's back to home. Uh, everything is done underneath, except obviously the one part we were waiting for. And now, finally arrive. There is a brand new inner CV joint. So, like I say, I can't feel the engine oil because this CV joint have to get in into the gearbox and sealing this place the gear oil, which is actually the engine oil. So right now I will put on this into the, my shaft, nice and new, and finally I will put on the shaft into the car, fill up the oil, put on the petrol, and try start the engine. It was good with fight, but now she's in. That's the inner CV joint, the outer, and of course the outer, the inner CV joint case which first have to put on into the gearbox and then shaft will go through and join the put on the CV boot on it. I can't put in this right now here together because the diameter of this CV joint is of course bigger than is the hole right there so that will not go through in there see guys I can't put on this in so that's why this have to go first into the gearbox. Okay, now I will check and see the fuel pump is actually pumping the fuel. 
Hey, now oh, beautiful. All right, that's good. Okay, and I'm not messing. This is first time. Now you try start. See what will happen. Hmm. Okay, nothing happened. Still nothing. First and seconds cranking over the engine and pump broke. Check this out guys. A little bar of the fuel pump broke. Try weld, maybe it will work today. I uh, have to order a new one. Right, fuel pump, it's boosted. I don't know what's going on. Only what I'm doing, I'm just pumping primer. And we'll see what will happen. She's just not pumping fuel. Right, finger cross everybody. Woo! Did you see that? That's my choke. Whoa! Whoa, that's amazing! Just start immediately, boy. Yes. <laughs> She's running beautiful. Very happy day. Thing is running. Very nice. Very very nice. I wonder if we turn off the choke. She will take it over. Kinda taken over without a choke. Uh, all right. <laughs> a lot of smoke everywhere. So now, Mini, it's running. After that many years, she got new life. It's running. It's kind of idle. Uh, I still probably have to buy a new fuel pump and put it on. I don't know why this one broke. I think, maybe I'm wrong, but we'll just check and see at home. I think it's supposed to be a little bit spacer between that pump and uh, engine block. My end don't have, and I think just the camshaft is pushing that pump too much, and that's when we break. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe just the pump was weak. Uh, so, only what I did, I just put on the normal priming bulb, primed the fuel, pushing all fuel into the carburetor, boom! She's running. <laughs> Amazing. I know I'm running too long because my water hose is not connected. Um, I is I supposed to be connected here, which is completely different diameter this pipe than this pipe, so I will have to do some kind of um, reducer. But anyway, Mini is running. So, for this video, I think that will be over, guys. Thanks, Mini, for watching. Hope you like it. Mini is running. I built Mini from Book of Roost. Um, next video, obviously, we'll tidy up everything, what needs to be done, the rest of them, and that damaged roof cloth, and I will build a new dash, and then we'll take Mini for spin, and that project will be over. So, smash the like button, guys, uh, subscribe, write a comment if you like, I will probably answer you back, and thanks for bye.